Um, <laughs> thank you so much for, uh, for turning up and um, even though we're not making a show anymore, you still are here and you're still dressing up and you're still here to show support for all of us and we can't tell you what that means to us to see you turning up like that, so just thank you for being here. She has such a strong power of choice over her love and where she puts it and who she gives it to. So I think I learned like ownership of myself. Because you're gonna wake up some days you're gonna be like, no. Some days you're gonna be like, yeah. Some days you're gonna be like indifferent. But the one thing that I know without fail will do when I wake up every morning is like I own whatever I am. I own whatever mood I am I'm in, I own whatever I'm doing because yeah, do you know that kind of way? Like, if you don't own yourself, then someone else will try. Um, so definitely, like, her ownership of herself, I loved, and I learned so much from. I think her ability to speak up for herself, I definitely have learned that that's a good thing. Um, I grew up in a, I think, with the mindset that, you know, to, to need to be like life, you tend to need to make everyone else feel at ease, and you end up, you know, doing more damage to yourself that way. So I think her... Um, how immediate her emotions are and, uh, and how she allows them to fuel whatever she needs or wants from any given moment in that she doesn't suppress them if sometimes she should <laughs> but she doesn't so therefore like her her fluidity of emotion and how she uses that to then speak up for herself defend herself and if you can defend yourself, then you can defend anyone else. So therefore, then she can fight and defend other people. I think they're the two main things that work because I've already had to translate. Um, and then, yeah, I think um, the challenge, the definition of what's beautiful. Um, I think I grew up in a society where there was a very narrow standard of beauty that I found very constricting as a as a young woman. Um, and Nina really has completely transformed my life in terms of that way. So yeah, they're my top three anyway, but there's definitely more. <laughs> so thank you. It's thank you.
Can you raise your hand? How many of you joined us? Trois mots, donc pour Jessie, bon bah, ça va être compliqué pour elle de tout connaître, mon petit type. Um, three words, quand tu passes sur le spot. Um, I would say... The first word I'm thinking of is generous. And I mean that with, that she's very generous with, who she, like, with herself, with people. You have like a boundless well of, of joy to share with the people that are around you. And it's like up limitless. That would be my first thing. Um, God, there's just so many things. Um, uh, she's also very funny, I would say. I would say very funny, um, but also a really good audience. Like you're a very good, you're a very good like yeah. receiver of jokes, which to me is like very important to be around. Um, and I would say, what was it? What was it? Just nice things. Yeah. <laughs> well, not good ones. You do good, true ones. Um, <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Just two things for me then, fine. Uh, I would say that Ben is very like comfortable and comforting. Like you're very you're very cozy as a person. I think everyone in our cast, like you can be around Ben and just feel like safe and cozy, definitely. Um, Ben's also very funny, but not as funny as me. <laughs> no, Ben's very witty, very quick, um, and also talented. You know, you've got many, many talents. Just all over the shop. Yeah, there you go. So I actually have three things to say about you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 